Hey gang, Mr. Spencer here. So as a child of the 90s, one of the things that I learned very early on was that if I was ever stuck at home and someone tried to rob my house, the very best thing I could do was to have a paint can that I could swing at them. Heads up! So I don't know if the whole swinging things thing appealed to me because when I was little, um, we, me and my friends, we would go out for recess and one of the things that we liked to do was to, to go on the playground and like take over the swing set and we would wait for the, the very nice um, uh, uh, playground lady to walk away or to turn her back and then we would play what's called the gauntlet. And the whole idea behind the gauntlet is all of us would start swinging back and forth as high and as fast as we possibly could. Um, but one of us, the unlucky one, had to run through the middle of, the, uh, of all of us swinging. And the idea was to do it as fast as possible but not get hit, all right? And, uh, and so, so yeah, you had to go fast, but just don't run into anybody. So let, let's do this. Let's take this idea of, of swinging things. We'll, we'll, we'll be very scientific about this. We'll, we'll call those swinging things a pendulum. And, and let's use this idea of a pendulum to introduce how we set up um, scientific experiments. All right, how we design these so that they really answer the questions. Now, um, one of the things that I want you to remember here is as you do this, I'm going to, I'm, it's going to be kind of vague. All right, this is the first time we've done anything with this, so I'm just kind of leaving it up to you to, uh, to figure certain things out without me filling in all the details right at the very beginning. Um, but what I want to do is, is, is take a look at swinging things. So in order to do an investigation on how swinging things work, you just need a few really basic things. Now, if you're in the classroom, I'll have this for you. If you're at home, you can use what, whatever you want, but here's, here's what you need. So first you need uh, some kind of, of string, um, and then you need some kind of, of bob or, or the, the mass that goes at the, at the end. And then you just need to be able to, to attach it something so, or attach it to something so it can swing back and forth. Now let's think a little bit about some of the things that we are going to want to measure in this, okay? So we can measure the, the length of that, that string or the length of that pendulum. We can measure or put into numbers the, the mass that's at the end of, of that string. Um, we can measure the angle that we, we hold it when we release it. We can also measure things like the time. Okay, so when we're talking about um, when we're talking about pendulums, the time it takes to swing back out and back is what's called the, the period. You can also measure what's called the, the frequency. So frequency is just how many times it swings back and forth in a second. But the important thing here is that we have a few things about this pendulum that we can put into numbers. At this point, here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to put together just a really simple uh, investigation on how a pendulum works. Um, and, and what I want you to do is let's, let's frame the question this way. Um, what happens to the way a pendulum swings when you change the blank? Okay, so it could be what happens to the way a pendulum swings when you change the length? What happens to the way a pendulum swings when you change the, the angle? What happens to the way a pendulum swings when you change the blank? Now you'll notice the, the blank should probably be something uh, that, that you can measure, something that you can put into numbers. Um, same thing with the, trying to figure out how, uh, how you're going to describe how it change or how the, how the way it swings changes. Now, um, I'm going to kind of leave it at that because I want to just see how you set this up. Um, but here's what I, I want to do. Rather than giving you a whole bunch of details at this point, um, these are the things that, that I want you to do. So I got to read this. So um, when this is done, I want to see you having some kind of document, whether that's paper or, or digital, whatever floats your boat. Um, but some kind of document with this information. Okay. First of all, I want you to have uh, the question that you're investigating. 
Um, I want you to have a sketch of how you're setting up your experiment. So just kind of draw, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, but just kind of draw out what you're doing, uh, annotate that, kind of uh, explain things so that if someone uh, hadn't seen this before, they would have an idea of what you're doing. Um, and then I want you to, to keep track of the information that you're, you're collecting. So we're, when we're talking about information, we're usually talking about numbers here. How are you going to set something up so that you can keep track of those numbers? All right, and then actually do it. Okay, so you're going to do that experiment. You're going to keep track of those numbers. And then last of all, I want an explanation of your findings using the numbers that you collected. All right, where you're explaining what happens to the way a pendulum swings when you change the and you pick. All right, so good luck with this. Let me know if you have any questions.